Open Auction, also known as Open Exchange, Open Marketplace, and Open RTB, is a marketplace where any advertiser can participate, as there are no restrictions to enter such auctions. Open auctions exist because publishers make their remnant ad inventory available in ad exchanges without setting any minimum bid price. Therefore, ad inventory prices are decided in real-time auctions. In general, if there is low competition in a certain auction, the price of the auction to ad space will be low and vice versa. Now let's see how ad inventory can be traded in an open auction. For this example, let's assume that a publisher offers an ad space for sale in an ad exchange through his supply side platform. Many advertisers can bid through their demand side platforms for that ad space. The first advertiser places a bid of $1, the second advertiser places a bid of $2, and the third of $1.50. In this case, the auction winner will be the second advertiser, who placed a bid of $2. So, the actual price of that ad space was determined in the open auction. As mentioned earlier in this course, publishers use ad servers to prioritize the selling of their ad spaces. In general, most of them try to sell premium ad inventory directly to advertisers at higher prices. If there is remnant ad inventory, they make it available in private auctions, and if they don't manage to sell it there, they make it available in open auctions as a solution of last resort. Therefore, ad servers for publishers typically give open auctions the lowest ad serving priority. Obviously, there are many pros and cons of trading ad inventory through open exchanges. But let's have a closer look at those. When it comes to advantages, both advertisers and publishers can easily participate in open auctions without engaging in any direct deal. Therefore, it's less hassle to participate in open auctions. New publishers with a small number of ad spaces and low website traffic can easily sell their ad inventory in open auctions. That way, publishers can get found by advertisers, monetize their website, and why not engage in direct deals with them in the future. Moreover, publishers who participate in open auctions can still control their ad inventory, meaning they choose what types of ad creatives can be placed on their websites. They can also blacklist particular unwanted advertisers. Also, even though ad spaces are usually sold at lower prices in open auctions, there is always demand on open exchanges as opposed to the other programmatic media buying methods. When it comes to the downsides, publishers end up selling their ad inventory at very low prices, which results in low ad revenues. The thing with open exchanges is that they have a much larger supply of impressions. This oversupply suppresses ad space prices. Moreover, advertisers participating in open exchanges are highly exposed to ad fraud. Therefore, participation in open auctions should always be done using an ad fraud detection and protection platform. Also, given that any publisher can participate in open auctions, adverts have higher chances of appearing alongside risky content which doesn't align with the image value and messaging of the advertised brand. This situation can easily lead to negative brand perception and hence less converted customers. Another downside of participating in open auctions is that some publisher and user data can easily get leaked. As mentioned in the previous lesson, when someone visits a web page that contains an ad space, the publisher supply side platform sends an ad request with publisher and user information to ad exchanges, which are then passed on to DSPs. Those ad requests store a lot of data like publisher details and user demographics.